Hey guys, today we'll show you how to do a hoodie flat photo for your online store, an easy way. For that you're going to need your phone and Photoshop software. Step 1. Iron or steam the hoodie. It's necessary to reduce dents. Believe me, it will make the item look better and save your time later in Photoshop. Step 2. Lay down the hoodie nicely. There is no correct way to do it, everyone does it differently, but here is my way of laying it down. Put the sleeves under the torso and try to align everything. Step 3. Clean the hoodie with this sticky rolling thing, especially if it's a black hoodie. Step 4. Take the photo. Make sure you have even light and no harsh shadows. Position the hoodie in the middle of the frame and don't take pics from too far away. Make sure that every part of the hoodie is in the frame. Step 5. Edit the photo. I create a 4x5 file, since this is the ratio we use on our Instagram and website. If you want to do it super quickly, then you can just select the item, use quick selection tool to adjust the selection, Ctrl J on iMac to create a layer from the selection, and boom. Your hoodie flat photo is ready. Usually I manually do the selection by using pen tool, since it's more accurate, but also takes more time. But let me go a bit further. I want to edit our hoodie a bit. First of all, I place the rulers that will help me to align the hoodie as I want to. Then I go to filter, liquify and start adjusting the hoodie. You can never lay down the garment perfectly and it requires some adjustments quite often. I never change the garment shape or fit. I just make it more symmetrical and visually appealing. You can play around and experiment with it, but be careful. It's easy to overdo it. Then I clean the hoodie by using clone stamp tool. By holding the option on iMac, select the area you want to copy and start playing with it. Just clean the hoodie, but don't do it too much. Otherwise, you will lose the texture and it will look fake. Adjust the opacity of the layer to blend it with the original. Sometimes, spot healing brush tool helps to remove some small hairs and dust. Then I go to filter, camera raw filter, to do our color correction. I can see some strange bluish color and I just want to remove it. Our hoodie is black and white so I can easily turn the saturation down. But if you have several colors, try playing with color mixture and adjust all the colors separately. Sometimes I can raise the texture and sharpness a bit as well as play with other settings but this time iPhone camera doesn't allow me to do too much here. Then I use a burn tool and darken the mid-tones. I want the hoodie color to look even. Then I quick select the hoodie and adjust the edges with pen tool. You can also clean the edges with eraser tool. Then I move the hoodie and adjust the size of it. I suggest you to fit it in square in the middle, so the item is fully visible on your Instagram page. Choose any background color you need and just export it in any format you need. I go with JPEG and 2000 by 2500 pixels. It's more than enough for me. That's it. Hope you like this quick tutorial. There are plenty of tips and tricks when doing flat photography, we do them quite often. So let us know in the comments if you need a tutorial on any other garment. Also please subscribe to our channel, leave a like, we appreciate your support a lot and thank you for watching. Bye.